You know when you're at a job, you start a new job, and it's the best feeling because your employees is fun, the energy is good, and probably a few months, a year, a few years later, it's always that one manager, that one friend, coworker that leave and change the energy in the job, just go to hell from there. That's what happened with Shannon Sharp. He finally responded and, well, not responded, but finally gave a reaction to Skip Bayless leaving FS1 with basically getting fired, and he took the high road. So I'm going to play a clip. It's probably about a little bit over two minutes. He went on for nine minutes, and I will tell you guys a little bit about it, but I want to first replay what he said on Nightcap last night. It was a great seven years. I mean, the friends that I have, uh, you know, Autumn and Tracy and Wardrobe, mm. Brett, Jumpsuit, they're still there. Cindy, uh, Makeup, who's head of the makeup department. I miss, you know, going in, the, going in there talking to Edo. Sant, who's my girl in security. Derek, who loves the Cowboys. I miss Joshua with him. And then when I got into the actual studio and Bonnie Lou, who was audio, she was always my audio person. Um, Karen was a stage manager, Craig stage manager, uh, Johnny, but Johnny went to a lot of the big events. So he wasn't there as much as Karen and, and, and Craig were. Uh, Melissa and uh, what's the other guy name in, in uh, props? Jeremy, Melissa and Jeremy. I miss it. <clears throat> Look, guys, like I said, I, I don't really know what happened to Skip. Skip gave me an opportunity. Uh, I've been very forthcoming about that. Um, I'm not in the position I'm in if Skip doesn't give me the opportunity. Um, but when people say it's luck, that's what happened when preparation meets opportunity. I was prepared when the opportunity presented itself, and I took full advantage of that. So I'll be forever grateful for Skip giving me the opportunity. Um, I won't skip to win. I wanted Skip to succeed yeah. at uh, Undisputed. And just because I'm not there, that doesn't mean I don't want him to succeed. I just realized that he and I couldn't succeed at the same table. Mm -hmm. But I want him to succeed. I want, I want me to succeed. I want Stephen A and I to succeed. I'm not jealous of anybody. I've never been jealous of anybody. That's not how I operate. I appreciate Fox giving me the opportunity. I appreciate Skip going to bat for me and giving me the opportunity. But things happen. So I don't know what Skip's going to do. Um, I wish him the best. Um, but I don't make the call. In ESPN, and, you know, Stephen A said what he said. Look, at the end of the day, ESPN's going to make a call. Shadow don't call no shots at Stephen A. I mean, at, at first take. So at the beginning... You know that Shannon Sharp was like, look, I miss this worker, this worker. This is a year later, and he remembered everybody name from security to wardrobe to makeup to everybody. He missed them. So he went on to explain at ESPN, he has only been to New York live to do the show five times. Think of how many times you've seen him on a show. You've probably seen him five times in a week sometimes. Think of how many times you've seen him on that show versus only five times going live. And he said two times in L.A., total of seven times. I could be wrong, could be paraphrasing, but what I heard was seven times. Outside of that, everything has been via Zoom, via him at the crib and doing it. So he's like, look, I only talked to three people ever at ESPN. And that was like the bosses. Outside of that, he don't have no relationship with anybody. He talked to Stephen A, say Molly here and there. He don't, besides that, he go to work and he go home. He don't get in a relationship, whatever it is. So when you go from that type of work environment where everybody's friendly, you're kicking it probably after work, you probably go grab some drinks, go to a bar, go grab something to eat or whatever it is, to now you just go to work and go home. It's just strictly business. And with him and Skip Bayless, he kept it very respectful. He like, look. I wouldn't be where I'm at without Skip. And he acknowledged that. And that's same with Stephen A. He like, look, I wouldn't be there. We just didn't work out. He didn't say anything negative about him, didn't throw dirt about him. And he went on a tangent about the uh, rumors with him and Stephen A. Smith. He did that for like five minutes. And I don't do nothing, you know. That's that's different stuff. But 
overall, he took the high road. It was very respectful. And you can tell he's very uncomfortable. He didn't want to talk about it. I clipped it up where it sounded a little bit smoother. But it was a lot of gaps, a lot of ums, a lot of unsure, a lot of just pivoting to saying something else. Because he didn't want to talk about it. And I guess since they did Nightcap, you know, you had to talk about it. And you already know. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about that.